Rockstar just released the first trailer for the San Andreas Mercenaries update. So we're going to break down everything new that we've seen in this trailer today. The trailer is very short, only 30 seconds long with only about 22 seconds of actual footage. So we'll break this down and then we'll talk about what Rockstar actually had to say about it after. So it'll be a quick video. If you enjoy, leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more stuff like this. Let's go. All right, on this very first frame here, we can see a lot of new stuff. So obviously they're going towards a hangar that's in Fort Zancudo. And we can see four new vehicles here. So the one on the right is an off-roader. It's a variant of the Pajero. It doesn't look like it's armored, I don't believe, but we'll have to wait and see. Then on the left here, we have a hot ring Hellfire. So this is the Gauntlet Hellfire and it's a hot ring variant. I don't really think we'll see many people using this, but hey, it's coming. Then up the top in the middle here, we have a new plane. This is the one that we saw on the runway of the USS Lexington in the last sort of newswire from Rockstar. And then probably the coolest vehicle in this screenshot here is on the top left. It's the Canada, but this one is weaponized. So this is awesome. The Canada came out with a Criminal Enterprises update last year. So this one's a year old now, but now it's getting weapons. It's hard to tell if this is going to be an entirely new vehicle or if you can just add weapons to the existing one. I'm going to assume it's going to be a complete new vehicle because the other one is in Elitis and this one would have to be in Warstock. Now the Canada is actually one of the fastest helicopters in the game so this getting rockets clearly and we'll see what other weapons it gets could make it one of the best helicopters in the game. Next frame we can see the Avenger being stored in a hangar so this is what it's going to look like. You only used to be able to store it in your facility now you won't need a facility you can just store it in a hangar or if you don't want either of them you can just buy an Avenger now which is all Awesome. That removes a massive paywall of needing a hangar or a facility to buy this vehicle. So well done, Rockstar. You can also see here that there's a new weapon here. This one looks like a sort of cannon or minigun. And I'm assuming that the pilot is going to be able to fire these now as well. Very next screen, we've got two new things. This is the inside of the Avenger, but there's two new things we can notice. The first one is the jetpack is in the Avenger now. So you're going to be able to store it in the Avenger. And if you are able to request this, just like he can with the Sparrow and the Oppressor Mark II, through the terabyte interaction menu and the Kasatka interaction menu. If you can request this from the Avenger menu, it's going to be very, very useful. A lot more useful than it was before. And on the left here, we can see this guy using the new control terminal in the Avenger. Not sure how much this is going to cost. I kind of doubt that it's going to be cheap. Although Rockstar, if you want to give it to us for free, that, that'd be nice. This next screenshot here shows a guy using the new SMG, the tactical SMG, and it looks like this is going to be that server farm mission Rockstar mentioned. And unfortunately, it looks like this is the noose headquarters. So it looks like we're going to be going to the same spot yet again. I mean, I guess we just kind of have to expect this. Rockstar has taken us everywhere on the map already 10 times. Then we see a bunch of off-roaders, three off-road vehicles. They're all the same vehicle, and it looks like it's based off a trophy truck. So this is definitely one I'll be picking up as soon as this comes out, if if it's there. I mean, hopefully it's not drip feed. We then get another look at this stealth mission or this raid on the USS Lexington ship. Looks like we're going to come in through the stealth annihilator and then parachute in. We then get a closer up shot of the control terminal that's in the Avenger. It kind of looks like the screen inside the Kasatka, except this one's green, where the Kasatka one is mostly red. You can see on the screen there it says Merryweather Security, and I'm guessing we're going to be able to start up a bunch of missions from here. Maybe even do things like we can in the Terabyte, like start source missions for certain businesses and restock missions and whatnot, but who knows. We then get a look at the new jet that's coming, a closer up shot, and this one confirms that it is a VTOL. So if you don't know what VTOL means, a vertical takeoff and landing, this thing can essentially turn into like, like a helicopter, right? Where it takes off vertically and then it turns into a jet where it flies like a normal plane. This will operate the same way as the Hydra, the Avenger, all of those other vehicles that already have this feature in the game. And I have a feeling this bad boy is going to be pretty expensive. I would say more than the Hydra. We then get a look at a dogfight and the interior of this new jet looks pretty cool. And that is the end of the trailer. So awesome. Some new stuff there confirmed that we didn't know before. So let's talk about Rockstar set about it. They didn't say much, but a few things 
games that are pretty important. For anyone that is worried, it is coming to all platforms, so PS5, PS4, Xbox, S, X, One, and PC. And again, we get confirmation we'll be teaming up with Charlie Reed, who is the mechanic in our hangar, and we'll be forming the Los Santos Angels with our own chance to earn our own fortunes along the way. So hopefully these are going to pay well, we'll see. Rockstar then says later this week, they'll be showing us more details on how they're going to continue to build on and enhance the overall GTA Online experience. So probably later this week, we'll be getting a lot of info on the quality of life updates coming. Now also something I wanted to touch on before we end the video here, this is from the last Newswire, something I missed that a few people have picked up in the community. At the end of this Newswire, Rockstar said, stay tuned for additional info about this summer's update, including details on new gameplay, vehicles, activities, all of that's fine, but this is the interesting one. Special upcoming weekly events and celebrations. Now, Rockstar's never said this before, and I'll let you guys speculate with all of our hopium for, you know, GTA 6 and whatever else we want to come. I'll let you guys speculate about this potentially foreshadowing something cool happening with the GTA 6 reveal, because I'm definitely not going to put any false info out about this stuff, but who knows? It, it could be anything. Or, like it often is with Rockstar, it could be nothing. So we'll leave it there if you enjoyed. If you're excited for this update, leave a thumbs up. Sub for more stuff like this. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next video.